Good day, my friends. I'm keeping on testing the NVIDIA DLSS4 in this CS. This time it's the turn of the F16 uh, here in the Cine map. And let's get started. Okay, that seems to be nice. Readability is better than the F-18 because the instrumentation is bigger, digits are bigger and performance are very good as well. I have 87% headroom on the CPU and 45%, 50% headroom on the GPU. This is only desert, but I'm trying to keep a low flight attitude so I can have many objects um, flowing below me and as you can see performance is pretty robust FPS are uh, fixed or kept. I don't want uh, to have any more FPS than 40 because they are more than enough um, for uh, VR flying. Uh, many of you are always asking if 40 FPS are enough or they are too low um, to have good experience in VR. I can answer that. And my opinion 36 40 percent is more than enough because of uh, the reprojection 
that uh, makes the magic to double and you have the perception of uh, double the frame inside the, the headset so 40 means that inside you can you are perceiving 80 36 you are perceiving 72 which is uh, the native frequency of the quest 3 so let's go and see uh, the procedure so the simplest method is to go to uh, tech power up site I usually go there I download the uh, latest DLLS uh, file you can find their drivers and go to the DLSS here and you'll find the latest NVIDIA DLSS 310.2 uh, uh, download this file unzip this file and you can go to the main folder of DCS uh, which is uh, DCS world bin uh, dash MT and you can find here the file which is named uh, yes nvngx underscore dlss dot dll this file has to be replaced with the one that you first you have just downloaded from the um, from the tech power up site and an alternative is to use the swapper uh, application you download the DLSS swapper application launch it and it automatically swaps the DLSS file for each game you select so it's a very straightforward method and um, the last things you have to do is to go um, to um, the NVIDIA uh, profile inspector download the latest version of the inspector and uh, inside the here among the settings go to the 5 section 5 common section and in case um, I'm having uh, the GeForce driver 566.45 and select to use always the latest letter preset letter for DLSS for DLS frame generation and DLSS RR those three um, just uh, select the always use latest and then apply changes here so this allows you to use the latest um, pre preset letter in this case is the key preset <clears throat> for every um, driver you have there is another option to download the latest Nvidia driver make a search for your uh, graphic card and now the latest is the 572.42 and this driver allows you to override the DLSS with two methods. One is via the NVIDIA application, which I don't have because I prefer to use the NVIDIA Profile Inspector. Or the uh, Profile Inspector, which allows you to select the override function. In that case, with the latest driver, you don't have to use the letter this but you will use only this one dlss enable dll override and just select to use the latest here select enable dll override also for flat for frame generation and for our ray tracing here so if you are using an older driver select directly the press preset letter like this if you are using the latest drivers which carries on uh, with it uh, the latest DLL, DLSS4 just select the DLL override via the inspector or via the NVIDIA application so 
to check that uh, you have the correct profile installed, you have to use um, a simple uh, registry script here. Here you can find the DLSS utils ngx driver on screen indicator dot reg go to this github uh, you can download this uh, script you add this script to the registry and with this uh, line you will be able to see which profile you are using in your game so every game has got the overlay indication of the currently used profile okay take note of this ngx driver on screen indicator all right guys that's it i hope it's been useful bye bye and have a good weekend